These are some of the items that I ordered. Pancake mix. Love, love bananas. I bought um, iced tea. This one is a lemon. I also got uh, cranberry, raspberry iced tea. Love iced tea. I also got the Kirkland organic blue agave, um, which I'll use to sweeten. Uh, my tea, I'm um, not using sugar anymore, and I also got cranberry. So, in today's video, I will be making um, using a waffle machine, which also the pancake mix with cranberry sauce. So, yeah, that is what I'll be having for breakfast today. Hi guys, so for my cranberry sauce, I will be added fresh seasoning, all seasoning is listed to the side of this video. So in my blend, I added my seasoning and I'm now I'm adding water because I want my seasoning to be finely chopped or grind. So in my frying pan, I'm adding vegetable oil and now I'm adding in my cranberry sauce. I'm going to bring this to a boil while I mix it in together. So in order to add a bit of a sweetness, I'm adding 3 teaspoons of white sugar and green seasoning guys to add a bit of uh, flavor this is fresh seasoning by the way and ketchup yes guys in case you're wondering where i got this recipe from it's from facebook now i don't have a wooden spoon so i'm taking my time as i don't want to scratch my pan but i'm stirring everything together now for my waffle, I'm adding 3 cups of my pancake mix into a bowl. And for my liquid, I'm adding 3 cups of water. You can add milk if you like. I'm using a whisker, whisker sorry. And with my hand blender, I am bringing everything together, combining together until it comes to a batter mixed For my tea today, this is the last of my pumpkin spice Swissmas and I have added that to hot water. I don't have milk in the house so I'm adding the caramel coffee creamer guys, this gave my tea such an awesome taste. So today is my relaxed day and I decided to do that on the couch while I have my breakfast. I am looking at a movie that I was watching the night before. I can't remember the name of the movie but what I know is that the movie is hilarious. I did a bit of a haul shopping and I wanted to come and show you all um, what I picked up. So. Brand sauce had sale. For those of you who don't know what is brand sauce, it's um we call it the local IKEA, because sure I don't have IKEA. They had sale and I went in and I picked up some stuff. The sale guys was like a 
a steal of a deal. So I have a few items. Yeah. I saw on their Instagram page that they had budget planners. It's something that I always wanted to get uh, um, to budget during the course of the month. So this is it. Um, yeah. So let me just open it up out of the packaging. So there are some stickers that I got um to include into my budget planner and i went with pink there were different colors i was torn between the pink and the lilac which is absolutely lovely and gorgeous um it's magnetic um yeah and i love inside it um all the inserts are inside it and this is the binder here so i just have to insert it um into the ring binder and from this month as i believe today is the first of feb um i'll start doing my budget planning i also picked up pillows you guys for my bed i love having my bed decorative with lovely pillows and guys grand source pillows were twenty dollars each with the filling um when i went they were like almost out of stock there was just a couple of pieces but anyway so i got two of these pillows from brand source um this is what it looks like um eyelashes with a lip i don't need to decorate my bed with this so i got two to put onto my bed and i find it's very very gorgeous you guys i really 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 like it so i got two of these for my bed so you all will be seeing um that sometime in the future this one i wanted to get two of it guys but i could have only gotten one because uh, apparently it was sold out but look at the detailing on this pillow you guys look at the accent pink blue with gold and it's very very pretty and i like it like it like it fan weight to put this on my bed as well i also got some nail polishes um brand source has their own gel nail polish line um the name of the brand is l or ellie um and it came in this cute bag you guys really really cute um so i just got a few of the polishes here yeah, um now this one is kind of hard to show you all the colors because uh, they are all in black bottle so i think i would have to probably paint on the colors um to show me so yeah i got six in this so this is two here um and if they are all gel nail polishes different um colors um one is a base coat um one that i got they were 20 dollars each i wanted more of the polishes but some were sold out and then um there were a lot of people in the line and last but not least from brand source this is what i actually went for but of course i picked up <laughs> a lot of other stuff but this is a a fluffy mat it's pink and it's it's long like this long and it feels so cuddly and nice that it's really really nice yeah so this also is what i picked up uh, um, it's a very lovely pink i don't know if the camera <laughs> is doing its justice yeah and this was two hundred dollars it was three something before and with the sale it was two hundred this is very very lovely i also would have visited um a ten dollar store i believe the name of the store is Scooties. um they didn't have sale but the prices of their items was lovely so i love to wrap it and i would have started putting much more onto my bed so i got two the first one is this one 
which is a off-white one cream side for $49. My bed is a queen size bed and the sizing of this would fit, so this was $49. Very still over here. And the material is very, very soft and nice, you guys. Yeah. And this one I got was a free, which is $49. So both is $49. So yeah, I got this for my bed, so I got a free. I wanted to get other colors, however, there were this two, and I think a uh, wine color, which I didn't really too like. So um, these were all the items that I picked up. So later that afternoon, I decided to relax on the couch. So the book that I'm reading is Tried in the Fire to Sweet Well to Those Who Wait on God by Tony and Nicole Hinton. I have been following Nicole on YouTube for many years and her testimony has very much inspired me. And while I'm reading this book, I'm actually having a pineapple yogurt. So guys, this book is very interesting. It's also mind-blowing um, to see what people go through on a daily basis, especially when you are a Christian and when the devil comes after you. So, you know, um, as they share their testimony, I was very much inspired, especially to live right, trust God, and do my best to be the best that I can be. I did not put this book down for one minute, you guys. So before I go, I'd like to tell you all, thanks for viewing. And for my takeaway, remember that all things are possible through Christ Jesus who strengthens you.